rotate our crops every year. We do not plant the brassicas at the same place every year. We, you know, and the tomatoes and peppers, we rotate them around, okay? Huh? Water, we have a spigot here. Mm -hmm. uh, we're in the process, and this is tap, this is uh, connected to the uh, city water supply. But we're in the process of developing a rain catchment irrigation system where we want to use the rain catchment as our primary watering source. And this is just backup mm -hmm. uh, drought conditions, okay? Yes. Direct seeded rather than transplants. And uh, we planted the uh, snap peas. As, as you can see, they're coming up uh, pretty good. You know, it's been a week or so. It's kind of coming up. We have our farm divided into three different sections two acres here, two acres there, and then the fur side is three and a half acres. So, this is our bee. The, the bees are very uh, integral uh, part of the uh, ecological system of the farm. They pollinate about 80% of the fruits and vegetables that we eat every day. So all of the plants, uh, the vegetables, fruits and vegetables, they are very close proximity. We have a very bountiful harvest, so you can just see the difference that the bees make, you know. So um, these are our original beehives. You just sold the pack, we don't have the electricity here. We're working on electricity. But we probably grow plants until about December. Yeah, and then we'll start back growing again around the end of February, 1st of March. That's when it's a, a decent winter.